Etched on the gravestones here at the Saratoga National Cemetery are the names of those who dedicated their lives to our country. One of those is Corporal Clifford Johnson. He served and died in the Korean War and his remains came back just this week. Now today, members of the community gave their final salute, including his surviving brother. Now we got closure and we can all rest in peace. He can rest in peace. After missing for 70 years in the Korean War, Corporal Clifford Johnson, an American war hero, was laid to rest. To, to, bring, to bring him back home after all these years. <laughs> It's just, it's, for the family, it's so great for the family to, to realize it, you know. Wrapped in an American flag at the Saratoga National Cemetery. <laughs> members of the community said their final goodbye. He always, he wanted to go in the army. He told me once that, he said, I, I remember telling me, he's got to go away to the army. Norman Johnson, Clifford's younger brother, says he was a man of many talents, from playing the harmonica to... Very good swimmer. And I, uh, that's how I learned how to swim, really. Threw me in and said swim. <laughs> Coming from a strong military family, Norman, who served in the Vietnam War, says putting his life on the line is what he knew best. But I felt when my brothers went to war, I wanted to go too. That's the way it was. It was just, you know, I wanted to be a part of them. Corporal Johnson was reported missing in the Korean War in 1950, and at the time, his remains couldn't be found. His family never stopped looking for answers. I got to give most credit to my sister, Gloria, and she passed away. She was at the uh, Washington just about every day trying to find some information on what happened to my brother Clifford. The memory of Corporal Johnson will never be forgotten. But now he's, now he's looking down on it. Now he's home. Welcome home. Corporal Johnson was 19 when he went into the service, and his family says having the love and support of the youngest Johnson brother, Norman, made all the difference. For now, reporting in Schuylerville, I'm Spencer Tracy, News 10, ABC.